I used to go, go along with my dad all over the farm, wherever he went, I went, and so that's why I got an interest in the farming. I remember coming home from school, I used to cycle to Brompton and back again, and I was always first home. And you grab whatever you could, a bit of yeast cake, orange. Mum would probably be picking up the eggs or upstairs cleaning or whatever. The first thing I thought, well, I'm going to get the cows for Dad so that when he comes in, he can do the cows and we all get in. <laughs> but the twins, you see, they're completely different. They didn't like that. And as much as Mum and Dad would show Dad, oh, never changed. <laughs> It's just different interests, isn't it? Yeah. You've always loved it. Loved it, yeah. Yeah, I used to, I learned how to milk the cows for the machine at about nine year old. Before that, it was all done by hand, which my dad did, I didn't. I do love cows, my first love, but I've got too old for that, so hence the calves. <laughs> you do less every year, and you think, well, how much will I be able to do next year? They're growing. Some things in life are worth doing for their own sake. And we're all born different, and it's whatever gives you pleasure. It's one or two of them suffering from the wet. For us, uh, we will have them young, is because these bullocks, you can't drive them, they'll follow you. Because you've got to have some kind of bond. I had my hip broke by a bullock. With the best will in the world, you don't recover so well as the decades yeah. go on. It's a bit of dry, good food to supplement the washy grass. The, the joy of being a contractor is that you've got the kit to make your own, how you want, when you want. Whereas if you're on the end of a long queue in, in a difficult year, you know, well, as I say, one day and a lot of rain can make the difference between making good stuff and rubbish. You put it in and they sniff at it and think, is this all he's giving me? Well, if that's all you've got, well, it's the time of the year it's made, earlier the better in May because the grass is, is most nutritious. If possible, if you can mow it late morning, mid noon, the sugars are all up. And it, it's just, well, people, some people like it wetter, some people like it drier. I like it drier because you can feed it to young stock because the sooner you can get them on silage, the less rearing that you've got to buy. You know, last year's prices was 280 a tonne. Well, you put a tonne of grub in front of 30 or 40 animals, it don't last long. After the First and Second World War, there seemed to be more appreciation of food security. Our forebears were long-minded, and everybody knows short-term, make the books look good this year, because I'll be going somewhere else next year. Well, that's all very well, but can you do that in terms of feeding animals or people? People see it as a safe haven for capital to be invested. They ain't interested in what comes off of it or farming it. They just want to sit on it till better times. But the economics of it, to buy it for what, to me, its core function is, is to produce food for the nation and provide income for families. At the moment, the, the maths don't stack. I don't know anything different. I mean, I don't know how to uh, enjoy myself. I, I'd be lost without it. I've got no other interest at all. I mean, apart from the normal things in cooking and dressmaking and things like that. It's, see, I've got to keep going because Freddie says, which is right, when I can't do it, he can't do it, because we work as a team. And despite all the negative things I've sort of said about cattle farming, it will come right because it has to, because there have been bad times before. They're going to try and bribe older people to leave their farm by paying them all their single farm payment up to 2027. But what they forget is, to a lot of them, it's their home. If you look around, most of the farms that changed hands have been destroyed because they've sold them more piecemeal. It's so going to get more out of it. Now, there's question marks over 75% of them. It's a way of life. It's well, it's got to be a way of life because... You wouldn't do it... You wouldn't do it oh, just as a business because the returns on the capital that you've got to no. commit to it mm. are dire compared to other... He likes to talk to people. I'm all right one-to-one, -one, but in a group, I feel lost. I feel lonely, and that's why I don't do it. You know, walking with a dog, you know, out in the countryside, I... Oh, nothing better. Nothing better. I love it. You know, I think we got a privileged life. I, I really do. But you would like to think that there's not only a future in it for us, but for the ones to come behind.